All right, coaches, now that I've moved over to YouTube, I don't have to rush and do this in two minutes and 20 seconds. It'll probably take me about four or five minutes to explain to you one of my favorite shooting drills. I showed a shooting drill the other day and I had got great response from that, so I want to show another one. This one I called 47 second shootout just because 47 points per game was our school record for least points allowed, and we just wanted to remind them of that. I think 45 seconds would be fine. Uh, but here's how the drill works. And the cool thing about this is this is a season long drill, okay, with continuous movement between hoops depending on how the shooters shoot. So you've got shooters here and here. So you've got two at every hoop. We call this our top hoop down at this end of our gym right here. And the guys were trying to work their way to the top hoop. So if you competed in the 47 second shootout at this hoop, let's say, okay, two shooters there playing, if you won that round that day, the next day when we did the drill, you got to move up a hoop and you were here. Okay, and if you lost this, you moved down a hoop. So every day that we did the drill, the next time, I would always say, okay, remember, you moved up a hoop or down a hoop from winning or losing yesterday. So it was a different matchup every time. If you won at the top hoop, you obviously just stayed. And that was their goal. At the end of the week, they wanted to be the guy that won at the top hoop. And if they did, then I gave them one of our little reward stickers uh, to put on their, uh, their team poster that I'll talk about in another video someday. So it was called 47 Second Shootout. Here's how it works. It was also pretty fun. The guys liked it. It was really active shooting, but we played some rock, paper, scissors in the middle, and the guys really got into that and enjoyed that. So there were four rounds. Round one was three-point shots. So I'd put 47 seconds on the clock, and I would say, go. First shooter would be moving hard around that three-point line, getting as many three-point shots off as he can in that 47 seconds, and keeping track of how many makes. So at the end of the 47 seconds, let's say he gets five makes. Okay, we put 47 seconds back up there, and his partner goes. Okay, and it's happening at every hoop at the same time. And I just yell, second shooter, ready? And then I hit the start clock, and 47 seconds for the second. Now, he knows he's got to beat five to win that round. Okay, so if he gets less than five, shooter number one's up one nothing. If he gets more than five, shooter number two is up one nothing. If he also gets five... Okay, I ask at the end of every round, any ties? And I point here, any ties, any ties, any ties? If there's a tie, they rock, paper, scissors very quickly, not two out of three, one time, and the winner gets to either shoot from the top of the key for the win, or he can defer to the other guy and have the other guy shoot from the top of the key for the win. But by the time we're done with that, we've got a winner of round one at every hoop. Okay, and again, you're just competing with the guy at your hoop, so you can try to move, move up a hoop for the next day. Then we go the same way through round two, pull-ups, fake the three, 15-foot pull-up, and round three is just regular 15-foot shots. After three rounds, we either got three nothing or two to one, right? Those are the possibilities for the score. So if this guy's up three nothing already, I know he's going to win because there's only four rounds, and I tell him, hey, you're going hard to get better as a basketball player work at. If it's two to one, then round four is big for the guy that's down two to one because he's trying to tie it and get into a do or die shot. So winner's choice for the fourth round. So we've done round one, two, and three. Winner's choice for the fourth round. Whoever has been the leader, okay, whoever won up there the previous day at the top hoop gets to choose. And I tell him, okay, top hoop winner, what do you want to shoot for the fourth round? And he usually just says three pointers. Everyone in the gym will shoot three pointers for round four. You know, the people down here are just trying to get off the low hoop. They're just trying to win to start making their way around, hopefully by the end of the week to be at the top hoop. So uh, we do our winner's choice round and then we're done. We've either got four to nothing or three to one or two to two. Okay, if they won three to one, they're done. If they won four to nothing, they're done. And I just remind them, remember, you move up a hoop for the next day. If it's two to two, so I go around, any games two to two, let's say this one is two to two, they rock, paper, scissors. Okay, rock, paper, scissors one time. The winner of that can either shoot from the top of the key for the win, and I mean the big win, not just that round, but the full win, okay, to move up a hoop for the next day, or he can defer and ask his buddy to take that shot for the big win to move up a hoop. Um, the guys love the drill, and I really like it because every – um, every day it's different. You're with a different person. It gets competitive to try to move up, and you can see guys starting to work their way up. The other thing that I love about this drill is you start to see who your best shooters are at these hoops. And you've got someone down here at this hoop asking you to shoot three-pointers in games, and boy, I think it gives you a ton of ammunition to say, wait a second, why aren't you at one of the top hoops? If we have this competition every day, and you're down here at one of these hoops, 
I might need to think about whether you're an open three-point shooter in games or not. So we call it 47 Second Shootout. The end of every week, whoever is the winner at the top hoop gets a reward sticker. The next week, it starts in the same place. We have had people sit up at that top hoop for weeks and weeks, and the guy challenging them is really getting after him to try to win that, and people will really watch that match closely um, as they see if they someone can unseat the champion. I uh, hope you enjoyed that 47 second shootout. If you have some questions, um, please feel free to send them along to me, and thanks for watching, and welcome to my new YouTube channel, and I'll see you again next week.